Hello, you are welcome to my channel. My name is Lori. If this is the first time you are visiting me on this channel, I say welcome. I speak about dream interpretation and generally about the word of God and also interpreting for people that sent dreams to me. Today, I will be speaking about another dream interpretation. I want to speak about uh, being arrested in the dream. What does it mean when you are arrested by police? Or just generally being arrested in the dream, what does it stand for? I would say the dream of being arrested is not a good dream. It does not have a good meaning at all in the spiritual realm. Being arrested in the dream, the meaning is spiritual bondage. Spiritual bondage. And also it hinders progress when you dream about it, about being arrested in the dream. And most times when you see that you have this dream, it speaks about you having presence of powers that never want you to prosper. That most times in the spiritual realm, the people that have this dream are caged in the spiritual realm. Means that whatever they are doing in the physical, watch out for it, it will not work out. Because being arrested in the dream is a spiritual arrest it is not a physical one and god is just showing you that in the spirit they are wasting your efforts they are wasting whatever you are doing in life it's not going to work out it will cause difficulty in you moving forward it will cause problem things that work out for others will not work out if you are having this kind of dream it's a spiritual bondage also when you are having this dream also another way you can have this dream is I see you say being accused of something. Details of the dream matters, as in what you are being accused of, how you were in the dream, how you felt. Did you feel that actually you committed that offense, or in the dream you feel that you are innocent of the the accusation they accuse you of? Now let me speak about you feeling that you are innocent of the accusation when you feel in the dream that they are accusing you of something and in that dream you are trying to deny that you did not do that thing that they are accusing you of means that actually there is spiritual bondage some way or you have covenant some way that is in your life that makes them to be able to accuse you and most times you are not aware of what is in the spiritual realm most times, it is something that has been done. It may be, may be something that has happened in the past that you have forgotten about that is causing it. Spiritual bondage most times is not always from your uh, forefathers. Or most, some people have this kind of dream when they committed something in the past or maybe they have forgotten about it. And that thing, maybe the people attack them or do something against them and they don't know. Let me give you a life case of something that happened on this line. There is this man. This is a life case, a true life story of someone that is always having this kind of dream of being arrested in the dream or being accused and it's always he said when he wake up you always feel that he's innocent of the accusation. Then one day and things are not working out for this man. Nothing is working out. So one day this man entered a bus and uh, he met somebody, an old friend, a, a lady that they were together in the past. He saw this lady in the bus and, you know, for a long time they chatted and they came down. Then the lady now spoke to the man and said, Seeing you today, I have forgiven you. And the man was surprised that, forgiving you for what? He said, I have forgiven you. And the, the lady now said that what the man did to her in the past, that she took, she took offense and the, she did some spiritual things against this man. And the man did not know. Now what happened? What happened was that when this man was dating this, this lady, he was double dating, he was dating another person also. So one day the two of them met together, that's the two ladies met in this man's house. And there was trouble. They were fighting themselves and the brother, that's the man, supported the other lady against this girl and they fought her and she said they tore her clothes and 
they drove her away in the night and this man did not do anything to help her it was people around her help her with some clothes that she wore and she left and that was the end of it the man thought that the end the lady left and never came back but not know that because of the pain of what that man did to her that day she went to do some spiritual things against that man and against the other lady too and so this man didn't know that things like this had been working even the other lady they did not marry eventually they separated but the other one did not give birth and him too was having difficulties in life until this woman has said that she actually did something against him in the past that today she's going to release him and she's is free things like this is a uh, strange to listen to it looks like a fairy tale but it's very very possible it happens especially if you're from africa you will see that things like this happens that people can do things against people in the spiritual realm they can tie people they can keep people in bondage so it is not all about you having ritual like in your forefather in your background in your foundation it can see happen again in what you do in life so you have to be careful that is why it's good to pray they say you can never over pray you can only you can only under pray so that is what it means so this is how uh, the case of this man happened so it's not only when you have uh, a central powers following you that things like this can happen i don't want to go too much into that let me speak about you being the policeman in the dream arresting people what that stands for is that you have a divine calling you have a divine calling god is calling you on a specific area the details of your dream will give meaning to that dream what in what way god is calling you for so you have to check that out and the truth, let me give you some way that you can pray to cancel this dream of oppression because this dream of being arrested by police is a very serious dream that you have to pray and cancel that dream you pray like this and see every bondage in my life i break you today in the mighty name of jesus i break you today i break you today i break you today in jesus name christ has redeemed me for every cause of the lord because of that every cause that has been following me is broken today in the mighty name of jesus is broken today in the name of jesus hidden powers that are fighting me that i don't know about i expose you and i disgrace you in the name of jesus i expose and i disgrace you in the mighty name of jesus i expose and i disgrace you in jesus name blood of jesus wash me clean from every demonic oppression in the mighty name of jesus blood of jesus wash me clean from every demonic oppression in the mighty name of jesus blood of jesus wash me clean from every demonic oppression in jesus name evil decree against my life i render in all and void in the mighty name of jesus i render in all and void in the mighty name of jesus every decree of darkness over my life I render you all and void today in Jesus name. You this evil dream, I cancel you today. You will not manifest in my life in Jesus name. You will not manifest in my life in Jesus name. You will not manifest in my life in Jesus name. You say it is written, if the son of man has set me free, I am free in this. From today I decree that I am free in the name of Jesus from bondages. I am free in the name of Jesus from oppression. I am free in the mighty name of Jesus from evil pronouncement. I am free in the name of Jesus from curses. I am free in Jesus name. I pray for you today every demonic oppression in your life I cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that is fighting you today the Lord is standard against them in the mighty name of Jesus. I neutralize every demonic meaning of this dream in your life in the name of Jesus. And powers that are limiting your efforts in life the lord shall destroy them for you in jesus name so shall it be in the name of god the father and of the son and of the holy spirit in jesus mighty name i pray i want to appeal to you to please subscribe to this channel like and share it as you do so the lord will bless you in jesus name see when next time i see you i see you remain blessed in jesus name bye bye bye